Where are calendar drafts saved in Outlook? If you're often working on meeting invitations in Outlook and need to save them for later, you might be wondering where these drafts are actually stored. Let's break it down. When you create a new meeting invitation in Outlook, but aren't ready to send it, you can save it as a draft. Here's how it works. In the new Outlook for Windows, you start by selecting the calendar from the navigation and creating a new event. Once you've added at least one participant, you can select the Send dropdown and choose Save as Draft. This option will only appear if you've added a participant. Now here's the important part. These draft meetings are not stored in your mailbox draft folder. Instead, they are saved directly on your calendar. You'll see the draft meeting listed on your calendar with draft added to the title of the event. The same process applies to the web version of Outlook. You create a new event, add a participant, and then use the Send dropdown to save it as a draft. Again, it will be saved on your calendar, marked as a draft. In classic Outlook, the steps are slightly different. You select Calendar, create a new appointment, fill out the details, and if you've added attendees, you close the meeting request and select Save Changes, but don't send from the pop-up window. In all versions, when you're ready to edit and send the draft, you simply locate it on your calendar, select Edit, make your changes, and then select Send. You can also save it as a draft again if you're not ready to send it yet. So to summarize, your calendar drafts in Outlook are stored right on your calendar, marked clearly as drafts, and can be easily edited and sent when you're ready. This way you can keep track of your draft meetings without them getting mixed up with your email drafts.